Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, what, what? Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Jamar Four here once again, here to recap this part one of this Love and Hip Hop reunion. I told y'all I was coming back with the regularly scheduled program. And since hold on, a lot of people, a few of y'all have asked about him. Hold on, let me bring his ass up here. I still have Rue with me, y'all. A lot of y'all ask about Rue and where he's at. Uh, here he is. Say hi. Oh, and I got him a new, uh, uh, I guess this was like his Halloween thing. I got him a little Batman shirt. Hold on, let me turn this around so y'all can see. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> but he just stopped in and say hey to the party people. Hey to his fans. <laughs> this is the one to be making noise in the damn background. And he got freshly cut today. So, now I got to see him. Now he can go. Goodbye. <laughs> so, in respect to these, these people on this show, this was a very, um, um, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It was, it seemed barbaric almost sometimes. But we go, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. So, I, don't, I really have very few notes here just because everything else was kind of rehashed and we already talked about it. So, but some, something that we discovered when they mentioned about, you know, Fizz and Monice moving together and why he did it, he explained that he could have easily gotten a place, but he wanted to do something different for his son. Okay, that's what we kind of figured because we're like, we know you have money, enough money to have an apartment. Why are you with Monice? So I guess they wanted to be with the son or whatever, but they asked her, like, were you guys maybe trying to rekindle? you know, a romantic relationship. And she said no, because we find out that apparently um, Monice is a carpet muncher now. And she has a girlfriend. She, uh, they're, they're trying to get pregnant. I, Monice is just so avid about having another baby, whether it's her or whoever she's with. She just wants another child. Whatever. <laughs> That's what she wants. That's what she wants. So... We figured that out. That was interesting. Um, then we get to this this Fizz versus Nikki debate where <laughs> I don't even their relationship never made sense to me anyway. It always seemed kind of fabricated. Um, she was talking about how he used to uh, mention her in interviews and she don't ever mention him and they talked about just this, this whole back and forth nonsense of uh, one minute she wants to be in a relationship and next minute is not. It's like, I, whatever. Like, I didn't, I didn't seem like it had any foundation in the first place. So it's like, why are y'all even entertaining, you know, this whole situation? Next, it was Moniz versus the rest of the cast. <laughs> or rest of the female cast. And... This is the, and then first of all, Nikki said something about her, how she tried to slide into Safari's DMs. And my thing is, she just said that she had a girlfriend and she's exploring women now. So it just kind of seemed weird. And then Safari tried to play it up like she did, but it was like, no, it was for work. Now, my thing is, when it, when it comes to like altercation and that type of environment, Monice reacts the way that I would. Somebody says something crazy, they yell it off. Like, I'm like, well, uh, the fact of the matter is that I didn't hit him up for that. I hit him up because I was trying to send him my track and I wanted him to check it out. And work. You know, I would have just given the straight truth. Like, she was being calm and collected with it and with semi-shady at the same time, which is, which is probably why I kind of liked it. Um, but it was just weird. And then here come Brandy. Brandy is so annoying. My God. Ooh, and this is the edited version, so you know that was probably like ten times as bad in person. Max, I don't see how you stand it. I, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I couldn't do it because she just something about her voice is just so graining to the ear, and, it's, and she just be yelling at the top of her voice, screaming, yapping, like, ooh, my lord. 
So they was talking about the thing that she had against Monice. And I'm still not quite sure. I want to say she was talking, I guess she was talking to Masika. Because, you know, Masika and Monice are like, you know, bosom buddies. And apparently, Monice said something about <laughs> Brandy and her family and her child being ugly. But when, when, but then they said, then they referred to Masika, who said something like, um, what did she say? How Masika wasn't saying, uh, uh, taking away, I can't remember what it was that they said. Something about it seemed like they didn't know who said what, and they didn't really specify who said what. They just kept referring to it as the comment. Um, but indeed, but then again, Monice did say, well, you know, do I feel bad about calling, you know, you and your family ugly? No. I'm like, damn. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. You just feel no remorse over calling. I'm like, I mean, children are innocent. Okay. Children are innocent. Even if it's the child of somebody who I just despise and loathe. I'm not going to, if they're, especially if they're an infant or a toddler, they don't know no better. Okay. So, I'm not going to sit there and be talking about the baby. Now, I ain't going to do all that. Now, baby mama's a different story. Because <laughs> me and the mama can go toe-to-toes toe -to as adults. You know what I'm saying? So, that whole part was, it just was weird. And then, uh, I forget the young lady's name who hosts the show. Nina? Nikki? Nina? It starts with the N. I want to say it's Nina. She asked her... Do you feel wrong about what happened last last year? Because y'all remember, y'all rewind. Um, Brandy inserted herself in a conversation regarding Monice's motherhood when she wasn't even a part of that conversation. I don't even remember who she was talking to initially, but Brandy decided to insert herself, saying, "That's not what you're supposed to do as a mother," and this, that, and the fourth, and blah, blah, blah. And we're just like, where did you even come from? You know what I'm saying? Like, where, what, what, why are you inserting yourself in this conversation that has nothing to do with you? And so, it was from that comment that led Monice to do the things that she did in regard to Brandy and, uh, <laughs> and spilling out that about her and her husband and she didn't catch him and something, whatever that happened. She said that, uh, launch party for her song or whatnot. And, Brandy said that she felt like that wasn't wrong. But my thing is, when, <laughs> when we aired out the business about how you take away from your son and how you were showing signs of not the best skills in motherhood, oh, you have every excuse in the world for that. But when somebody else does something that you deem unworthy, oh, you can just lay them out. You can just do whatever you want to do. You can say whatever you want to say and it just be okay. And that's like, Brandy... <sighs> I know that they're going to keep you on the show just for the sake to have somebody to hate or just to be annoyed by. Because I don't think we hate Brandy, but I just think we're just very annoyed by her. Very annoyed. And I didn't get to talk about, I feel like, I don't know if I said this or not. Uh, in regard to Princess and um, Brandy's relationship and how she wanted to kick her out the wedding, I, I'm almost certain I said this. Princess, baby. And Princess is such a beautiful girl to have to be kind of not all the way up here sometimes. She was about to kick Brandy at the wedding, saying, oh, she shouldn't have gone. She shouldn't have said what she's going to say about Ray J. I was going to tell it when it was my time and all this other stuff. But let's rewind a few episodes back where Brandy told you in confidence uh, not to tell Ray J or Max about her opening the store and using her son's CD money. But yet you just trolloped along over to Ray J and pillow talk and decided to just, just spill the beans but all of, now you want to be mad at her when you did the exact same thing a couple months ago you know like somebody have some consistency here is basically what I'm saying have some consistency um check what else happened uh I secretly live for Masika secretly she she is <laughs> uh, if uh, I feel like that's a stretch, I almost don't want to say it, but 
But I think just based off of her comedy, I think she would be considered my favorite from the show. Just because more often than not, she makes me laugh and I'm usually on her side. I'm pretty sure that there's two or three videos in the past that I've read her for filth, but right now I'm on her side. <laughs> um, especially when it came to the whole Brandy situation and she was just yapping, going on and on about whatever. And it was just... just Brandy just feel like she can't get her point across without just yelling and screaming and just pointing and doing all this other stuff. Maybe she has to compensate because she knows that she's smaller than everybody else, so she kind of has to have like the larger than life personality and just be in everybody's face but baby that mm -mm. uh-uh i can't i i mm -mm. no no ma'am um where else am i going lastly the masika and hey <laughs> hazelie situation where she was trying to uh bring up the fact like you know hazelie has some things to say masika was like who who because <laughs> Hazelie came in literally like the last two episodes of the season. If if not like the last episode. She was in one episode, I think. Did she did she just come in that one episode, talk to Tierra at the bar, and then fight Masika that same episode, and that was it? That's, that's the only scenes we saw her in. Correct me if I'm wrong. But she came in with a hit it and quit it. And, <laughs> you know, Nina asked her, like, how do you feel about... Hazelie saying that, you know, Fetty Wap isn't the father of your child. It's not the real father of your child. And Masika... <laughs> Masika was like, well, I mean, that's not her... You know, that's not her... That's a fake nose, fake hair, fake boob, fake butt. You know, she, she should know a lot about fake things being on her body. <laughs> that's the kind of response that I will come up with. So that's why I'm like, right now, me and Masika are here. Masika is making me laugh right now, so I, I, I'm, I'm team Masika. Plus, she handled that situation very well, I felt like, in that scene with Hazelie. So, that was part one of the reunion, y'all. This is kind of like a, eh, it kind of got us led into what looks like to be the real drama, because what I want to talk about is them two mamas going back and forth all, all season. That was the good stuff. Thank you for reminding me. So, I'm actually about to, uh, start exporting this video and go grab me a bite to eat. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope every one of y'all uh, exercised your right to vote today because the polls are coming in. I'll try not to look just because I'm scared. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow I will wake up to some good news. So thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time for Bad Girls Club now mind you I'm about three weeks behind on Bad Girls Club so I have to watch two two episodes and then watch the new one that came on yesterday or tonight yeah tonight I'm assuming it came on tonight it's not on a break or anything but yeah enough about that I'll see y'all tomorrow or whenever I can get that Bad Girls Club review up <laughs> bye bye like share subscribe Washington Washington Washington